Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 5 of Let's Talk About Football. We've got Lewis this time. And today, we are just going to be looking back on a week on, basically... Madness. Madness in football. Um, obviously, on the Sunday night there from the week where we had going ahead, the news broke out early, um, er, um, late Sunday night, early Monday morning. Um, the Super League has been announced. So it's 12 teams. Pretty sure it was 12 teams, yeah? Yeah, I was talking to mm. you. Yeah. Um, that signed up for the Super League, and the reaction was all literally as soon as possible. Uh, as soon as the news broke out, it was all over the literally fans protesting the days to come, and then Chelsea and Man City first to come out, and then what is your take on it, Luz? It's a pretty stupid idea, really. I think you'll even lose money in the long run. Yeah, and um. Well, the real reason I think that Barcelona and Real Madrid want to join the Super League is, no, Barcelona, I don't know, but because they've got nothing really... Close. No. They've spent a load of money during this pandemic when they're not getting money back for their tickets coming into the stadium. Mm -hmm. um, they need that money or else they're just going to go bragging yeah. up, basically. And there's been a lot of protests from the clubs who did join for the yep. owners to be out. Like, for us, no, it's crooked. I don't know how to Cronky. say it. Cronky out. Yeah. For United, it's Glazers, which I completely stand with, because I'm a United fan. Um, uh, when the day we're filming it, we, um, exactly right now, there's protests um, going on at um, Old Trafford. Um, but there is going to be a big one um, for my United. I think maybe Liverpool supporters as well, maybe I don't know. But there's going to be a big protest on the... There's a sentence you never expected to hear. Thogdad and Peter Cech saved <laughs> football. There we go. Um, what do you call it? There's going to be a big protest at the Man United Liverpool game next Saturday. A week today. Mm. Is that a week today? I think so. No way, no way next Saturday is quite. Lewis? No, next Sunday, sorry. Oh my god, next Sunday is the 2nd of May. Oh my god. But, right. Hey, that's when Big Zipper's song beat up comes out on Spotify. Check it out, guys. I'll yeah, I saw him on YouTube. Um, Before anybody says, we're not sponsored by him. I just saw him on YouTube. It's like big underscore zipper. 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 It's Champions. So we'll get to the point here, so here we go, um, we'll go from one for the BC here, right? Um, I did it a bit this yesterday, guys, there, there you goals. go. So Champions League, plans for revamp tournament agreed, um, that's a Dortmund, obviously, yeah. cover it, says stop your ACL, uh, your for Champions League reforms. Um, Lewis, you want to read a bit if you can, if you want. It comes today after 12 clubs, including six from England, announced plans to join a new separate super, uh, European Super League ESL instead. Controversial new Champions League format is due to start in 2024 and, uh, and, 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 and until at least 2033. Um. Basically, 36 clubs will qualify for an expanded first phase, phase where yep. all clubs will play against, play against 10 opponents. Opponent, oh my god. Where are you, you at? Where are you at? Um, no, phase and the next 16 going to a, a playoff the eight, for the remaining eight, yep, eight, remain eight slots. Format has been criticised by fan groups, not at least because two of the additional four slots will be allocated on the basis of past performance to the clubs with the highest uh, UEFA coefficient that did not qualify for the Champions League automatically, but did qualify for another European competition. If the process was in existence this season, Liverpool, right, Liverpool, depending on the outcome of domestic cup competitions, and Chelsea would have been the clubs who stood to benefit. The criticism around this format is that would strip away the basis of qualification being around league position as a, t as a team could qualify for the Champions League despite finishing lower in the table than a team in the same league missed out. So, it's, it's, for example, it's, I think it's mad that um, if Man United were in 6th or 7th and West Ham are they're currently 4th or 5th yeah. right now, right? But say, say West Ham are in 4th, that's a Champions League spot, right? Yeah. Um, um, West Ham would go into the Europa League 
are my United going to the Champions League, which I don't care look, if you're a United fan or another fan, right? That's still not right, right? Yeah, because, even I'm a United fan. Because, if you don't get top four, you don't deserve Champions League. Simple as. So, let's see if it's before. But if you go back to Los Angeles, money just took over the whole of football. Yeah. Where, um, I'll try and get the article up about this Super League. Um, are you getting really into say Los Angeles about else now? Blazers out. There you go. Um, here we go with a bit of Sky Sports breaking news an hour ago. European Super League. Real Madrid president foreign Florentino Perez says binding contracts mean founding clubs cannot leave. Wow. At that point, they're just going to play like their youth teams in the competition. <laughs> Real Madrid president was one of the leading figures in the proposed European Super League, which fell apart when all six Euro- uh, English clubs withdrew and dollars followed. Uh, Perez said, I don't need to explain what a binding contract is, but effectively the clubs cannot leave. Um, blah, 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 promised, and he promised the project would return after a period of reflection. Perez was on the leading figures, blah, 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 blah Perez, whose club, whose club are one of the three teams, in case you don't know. Uh, Barcelona and Juventus yet to abandon the project, say it was not simp- so simple for the clubs to leave. Um, he also said, I don't need to explain what a binding contract is effectively, but the clubs cannot leave. Um, he told a Spanish new pa- newspaper on Saturday. Um, some of them, due to pressure, have said they're leaving, but this project, or one very similar, will move forward, and I hope very soon. Super League was dealt another blow on Friday when JP Morgan, who had provided free a uh, 3.5 billion euro, that's just three million pounds, grant to the founding oh, club, Jesus. said it had misjudged how t- the deal would be viewed, which is a load of nonsense. Mm-hmm. Uh, Perez, however, said the bank was still on board. Um, it's, it's not true they've withdrawn. They have taken some time for reflection, just like the 12 clubs. Uh, if need we need to make change, there you go. We will. But Super League, it's the best project we thought of. I think that sums up all nicely. And Leo, is there anything else you would like to add before we end this um, up? Well, obviously, subscribe and like, guys. We'll keep you posted on um, anything else that happens in the in the coming days or weeks, should I say. But. Um, I hope that the you know it's great to see the fans like yeah. change the club's um react uh, mind and stuff. But I really hope that this thing just falls apart again. I, it's money. That's I'm going to finish it on money. Have some there you go. Big words, one, and big up for dad and Perchek, save yes. football.